We are underway from Southwest University Park. San Diego Loyal currently in third. Locomotive in seventh and a big match for both teams. Watching out with little Enzo, walking out I should say with little Enzo tonight as he did on Saturday and uh, maybe little Enzo can be the good luck charm as Locomotive earns the corner kick here. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think we would call a three month old a bad luck charm, so. Mm -hmm, correct. That Pretty innocent at that age, but well set. Hopefully, hopefully he can be a good luck charm again. It'll be Petrovic to take the corner, Locomotive's first of the night. Whipped in. Out it goes. Redo. Another corner. There you go. The Swede will whip it across and nicked over by McHugh. Not clear of the danger. Here's Petrovic trying to go far post and it sails wide. This one, not much happening in the first half, but it's off a corner kick. Eric McHugh couldn't quite flip it home. Petsar Petrovic. The Dolan Meyer, the intercept. Intercepted in turn by Conway. Evan Conway. Yeah. I feel like my best Halloween costume uh, was in high school. I was Michael Phelps. Oh. This year he won the eight gold medals. Lead pass. Here's Dallas. Turned aside. Diaz with the left foot. Knocked out, but not out of danger. Conway. Yeah. Worth a second look. Ronaldo is in, and that angle didn't quite show it. But Taken by Diaz. Got that one to Conway. Well worked by San Diego, but Diaz blows it up. And on the other side, quickly, here is Gomez. Gomez the cutback, and that will be a foul on the edge of the area. And the yellow card shown to Carlos Guzman. Kostich and goes for goal and just over. Fantastic look at goal from Kostich. you got to trust him in that spot. He's known. Uh, as Brian Clearout said, early in the season for his free kick, so really good look at it. The best chances of the night for El Paso. So Aron Gomez shown yellow in the end of the 56th minute. Good turn for some room here by Guido. Guido setting it up. Off to the left for Conway. Back to Moshaban. Far post and sails it over. That and a UEFA license. A license as a coach. Good work up the right wing. Perez. Chris Garcia in the waiting. Knocked over Loyal, the header. Moshaban missed it up and over the deflection, but it was Garcia's shot that set it up. And he's had some big moments as a substitute this year. Had a winning goal back in May, I believe, as a substitute. So that's the official word. It will be Chris Garcia coming on for Kostichin here in the 73rd. As well as Chapa Herrera. The yeah, says thank you very much. Dolan Meyer. Calvillo. Seems like Diaz, he'll catch. Yes. Well, Locomotive has had its problems through that terrible stretch. Over the top, they'll go to Sanupe, nicely carried in. The Englishman weaves his way through for some room. And will keep possession here. Back to Calvillo, opening. Wants to take a crack and will, and it's just wide. He'll Don't miss a minute of the action in 2023, whether your club's at home or on the road. Catch nearly every second of the championship action in the USL on ESPN+. Plus. More importantly, the the playoff implications, which we've discussed the entire broadcast, you got to get three points here. Still 1-0 Roots SC over Orange County. First half action from Championship Soccer Stadium. Damas, they'll keep it moving. To Conway. Goal kick. No whistle, so San Diego just kept the legs turning. I don't know if we'll get a look at it on replay. It looked like Chaparrera was dragged down. 
And with no call in a pretty dangerous spot. Thomas finally recognizing his good fortune along with Conway and almost made something out of it. We'll give off for Adams. Who can play it short if he wishes. Last minute of stoppage time. He'll play it straight in. Locomotive playing it back. Dahlenmeyer, the S to the middle, to stolen away. Sent through. Nilotti, Nilotti, chipped. Taken by the S at the end of two. How much longer? There it is. Referee Gerald Flores blows the whistle. A nil-nil draw. Locomotive will tie Roots SC with 45 points.